on, on the forward end, and you see the antenna sticking up on the top, and there you see the vital uh, elements. This is what the astronauts see on board. And it looks like we're moving again. Under 10 meters, so yep. we, we, we didn't stop for too long at 11 meters. We're picking up speed again. Now, what's the crew doing now? We haven't, talk, we haven't talked about the crew. What's so their role now? What are they doing now before docking? And then I'll ask you, what do they do after docking? Actually, they're still doing what they were doing before, but of course now they, we are getting closer, so it's more intense for the crew. And uh, actually, we are now about nine meters, uh, and the crew will watch and monitor and be uh, able to uh, stop or send back the vehicle until one meter. Uh, at one meter, there is a point which we call chop for um, chop crew H -O -P. Um, hands off point. Crew so hands off point. Chop. So at that point, the crew will uh, actually um, is taught not to send any command because uh, the effect of the command, uh, if we ask, for instance, to stop or retreat or escape, could be worse than. Uh, N not, not doing anything. So that's the reason why at that point the, um, the crew is taught not to touch its uh, command panel anymore. But that's wow. below one meter. And we are now at about six meters away, moving in slowly but surely as the ATV-2 homes in. That's a good speed, by the way. On the space. It's a good speed? Yeah. So six centimeters per second. Six centimeters per second. Um, so, so, so the crew are monitoring this, but it's not the whole crew because there are six astronauts aboard, as we mentioned, on the ISS, and uh, they're not all gathered around there the console. There are two crew members actually doing this activity. It's uh, Paolo Naspoli, our uh, ESA astronaut, and uh, Alexander Calieri, who is a Russian cosmonaut. And they're, they are the two ones who have been trained for this task. And Paolo uh, Naspoli, the Italian, uh, it's very fitting that a European be on the space station for the arrival of the European uh, vehicle because there was no European aboard That's right. for ATV-1. That's the first time an ESA astronaut would be there for the ATV docking. And we are two meters and we're approaching the, the chop point. In uh, That's the cutoff point seconds. for the astronauts. Right. Yeah. Now, what can they do? They can, up until then, they, they can hold or... or uh, they can hold or they can, um, uh, what do you call, uh, retreat, so go, go back to the previous point. And if something even more bad happened, they can send a vehicle back, so what we call escape or abort. Escape or retreat. And, that's or and also this, of course, would uh, cancel the docking for today. Well, and look at this. We are We're coming up less than a meter, so we are approaching to the initial contact and six uh, an hour and now we're no more speed okay yes. i think we can see that the target is moving a little bit so we had a contact we've had a contact and we see the capture information on the right side of the screen uh, yes on the right side in the middle of the right side so the atv has docked but uh, the docking has not been confirmed because it's not finished it's not right. finished there's a very complex procedure but she came right in and she uh, but it was very precise, and we see on the upper left side of the screen that the docking sequence has started. The people, the invited guests, the VIPs here, as well as the technicians, as you see, clapping and congratulating each other for this first event in uh, the docking. It has been captured.